Good morning. I hope everybody's having a good day. We're going to do a video of how to set up the Greenleaf 881 CT bender on a mobile bending table. This bender will do two and a half to four inch IMC, EMT, and rigid. So uh, this is a hydraulic bender. It has a hydraulic pump. It has a hydraulic ram. And the shoes on this, you have to be very careful to make sure that you wear your PPE, your gloves, and your glasses. These shoes, uh, for the most part, are pretty heavy. And this will take a two-person setup. So I'm going to ask my foreman to come in and give me a hand to show you how to set this bender up and how to adjust for different sizes of conduit and how to attach the shoe. Before you, before you set the ram up, you want to come over and you want to lock the wheels so the bender doesn't roll on you when you start to go up with the ram because this is very heavy. Again, use two people when you do this. All right, once the ram is stood up into place, take the arms, drop them down, Pull the pull pin and lock it in place. This will keep the ram from shifting or going back down. You take and turn your ram so your hose is running evenly with the ram and the pump has your hose lined up. On your pump, you have a Pendulum that has an on off switch. The on will turn the pump on, which will send the ram into action. Right here, you have your release valve or lock valve. Release and lock to bend. Okay? So, Right now, this is set up to bend two and a half inch conduit. It doesn't matter if it's IMC or rigid, but it's set up to do two and a half. If you will come this way, I'll show you. If you wanted to bend three inch, you would go to the, to the middle hole. Three and a half to four, you would go to the top. Again, it doesn't matter what style of conduit, it's the diameter of the pipe that these holes make a difference. And when we install the shoe, we'll go over the difference of what type of conduit you're bending. But before we do install the shoe, we're going to go over how to lower or raise this ram without manual labor, you know, of you trying to do it yourself because so many times people try to do this wrong. So if you come this way, I'm going to explain to you how this is done in the safest manner possible. This right here is what you put on to adjust your ram, okay? And as you see, it's got two side pieces that keeps it in place inside of the arms. All right, now to adjust this, we're gonna show you how this is done. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna run this ram down, you're gonna run your, to this rest on the forks of the arms right here, okay? Make sure you keep your fingers clear and everybody's clear in this process. Okay, once you get the tension off of these pins, these will spin, spin freely as you see. See how this works? All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your locking pins out. Now, if you notice, these are in opposite directions. Opposite directions, okay? That means they'll exit one, one, one side and one the other, and that's done for a purpose. And we will go over that purpose again shortly as we get on on to the video. 
We're going to remove these pins so we can adjust up to a different size of the conduit. Once the pins are removed, you will release the hydraulic pump, and that lets it move freely. All right, right here is set would bend a piece of three-inch conduit. Go ahead and install yours, D, into that side. Once that's done, reinstall your pins. Now you're ready to bend three inch conduit with the bender. So you see how easy that was? There was no strain on your back, no strain on your, on your shoulders or hands, okay? So that's how you change from one size conduit to the other, all right? Now, we'll get to the part to the very important part why these pins are in certain directions. If you were going to bend a piece of three and a half, four inch conduit, this is where this comes into play. You would pull the pins because when you, this, this right here is your follow bar. This is a two and a half. It goes in very easily to rest but if you was going to put in a three and a half or four inch follow bar, it's a lot bigger than this. It's not going to go in, it's not going to slide in this easy, the way this will. So when you get into that scenario of three and a half or four inch conduit, you're going to remove your pins to install that, the bigger follow bars. These have to be flexible here. And it doesn't take a lot, but it takes a little bit of flexibility in these forks for that to slide in. Okay? So that's the purpose of these pins being in opposite directions, which is very important. So please do never install them going the same way. Adjust this back down to a two and a half inch. We'll install the follow bar and the shoe. Okay, now that everybody, your pins are secured, everybody's clear.
Okay. Well, now I need to we'll attach our two and a half inch shoe, and this is where I'll explain to you the difference in the EMT, IMC, or rigid holes onto the shoe. So if you'll come this way, we'll show you the difference. And it tells you on the shoe, the front hole is for rigid and IMC, the back hole is for EMT. And this is very important to the style of conduit that you're bending. So we're gonna use the rigid IMC hole today. As you get into the bigger shoes, the best way to make this easy is to let the ram do the work for you. Once that's secured into place, let your pressure off, let it bring your shoe back up, and then we'll install the follow bar. These are very heavy also. This one isn't bad. But when you get into the three, three and a half, and four, those are very heavy, so it does take two folks to, to handle that. All right, if you pay attention to this right here, It has a starting point. You see the start point? The starting point right here, there's an arrow that says start, will go to the front of the machine. It's installed to that point. All right. To install, you're going to have what they call the, the saddle or the hook, which is located on the sides. And each, each place, each hook and each shoe and each slide bar has a purpose and has a spot on this bending table. And it's very, very important that you put each part back in the exact space that it goes. And you can see there's a difference in these hooks on the, on the ends, okay? Right here. And that's how that's installed. Once it's installed, you would insert your conduit. In this position, you would put your mark out to the end of the hook. And that's the setup of the 881 cam track bender on the mobile bending table. We're going to demonstrate how to bend a piece of 3 inch EMT on the 881 Greenlee mobile bending table. 